the PK Family, my name is Nostal Parkour, and today I got a tutorial for the third time I've made this tutorial on the advanced front flip. I've made this video three times now. That is not right. Anyway, on another point, feel this weather again. It was snowing yesterday, and it's 63 degrees. Ohio weather just keeps on surprising me. Anyway, let's get to it. <laughs> So before you try to learn this move, I recommend that you learn the punch front flip first because this version of the front flip takes a bit more timing and coordination. A link to my tutorial on the punch front flip will be in the description below. Okay, so did you watch that tutorial? Did you learn the punch front flip? I'm gonna assume you did. Good job! So the run up for this move is exactly the same as the run up for the punch front flip. Just quick steps, no starter steps, no strides, anything like that. Now the way that you take off is what's gonna be different. For a punch front flip, obviously you're doing a punch takeoff. So step, both feet at the same time. Now for the advanced front flip, what you're gonna wanna do is a gather step. I think of a gather step as trying to go for a rebound in basketball when you put one foot, then the other, and then swing with your arms. Okay, so now what to do with your arms. So we're gonna say that I've done the whole run up and I just need to do those last two steps. So right here, okay? When you're doing that third last step, you want to start bringing your arms back. So third last step and then both feet. So a good progression to practice and get the right timing for your arms and legs doing that gather step along with the arms is just, like I said before, uh, doing a few rebounds in basketball. So. Like, try to reach up to the hoop as high as possible. Imaginary hoop. So once again. So I highly recommend drilling that rebound, rebound progression as many times as possible. It may seem silly just jumping up in the air a bunch, but it definitely will help because it's completely different feeling um, than a regular front flip. Because for a regular front flip, you have your arms up and you do a sudden punch. And then for the gather step, you have to do a completely different thing. You do the second last step, one step, two step, then swing the arms. It's just a completely different feeling, so really, please, drill it as much as possible. So once you feel like you have the feeling of the gather step and swing the arms and everything, then it's time to actually attempt the front flip. So let's review up until this point. You're gonna do a very fast run up. It's very crucial that you have enough momentum because that's what's gonna give you all of your height. So you're gonna do that, third last step, and then into the gather step, bring both arms back. And then from here, you're going to swing your arms up as high as possible. And then as soon as you feel like you're going to leave, leave the ground, or once you actually have left the ground, you're going to bring your arms back down and bring your knees to your chest into that tuck. And then from there, like every other front flip move, it's all about timing, just getting the feeling of when to untuck and land safely onto the ground. Okay guys, that is the technique of the advanced front flip. But just to make sure you know all of the steps, like the back of your hand, here is a quick, visual, detailed overview. Okay, as always, start off with a fast, strong run up. Then on this third last step, you're gonna remember to bring your arms back. Now when you do this gather step, remember to block properly by putting your feet in front of you. Set as high as possible by keeping your chest up. Finally, you're gonna go in for your tuck, then untuck, then land beautifully. So now that we got part one out of the way, part two of the tutorial. Common things people do wrong and how to correct it. The first thing that people commonly do wrong is how they use their chest. Now, as you can see from the proper advanced front flip, I swung my arms and then I'm bringing my chest up as high as possible and then I go for the tuck. A lot of people go straight for the tuck by bringing their chest to their knees. So here and then like bring their knees, their chest to their knees like this. So here's the correct way and the wrong way. Okay, so notice that I really forced my chest upward like the rebound and then went for the tuck when I was as high as possible. So now, look at the wrong way. So 
So notice on that how my chest was not very high. In the first clip, I got as high as possible. This one, I got down to about here. And then I just kind of rushed that tuck when my chest was still really low, forcing my rotation to be really low, forcing my landing to be really low. So yeah, always remember to set as high as possible with the chest. Just like any type of blocking motion, you want to get your feet in front of you before you actually jump up in the air so that you have, so that you can convert all of that forward energy into upward energy. If you take off with your feet directly below you, and this is gonna sound very similar to the punch front flip tips because it's the exact same thing. If you have your feet right below you, then your chest is just gonna fly forward instead of going up. So like that. Now if you're extremely comfortable, now now if, <laughs> now if you're extremely comfortable with the advanced front flip, then you might want to travel if you're trying to clear an object or something. But for the purposes of just learning it for right now, focus on getting your feet in front of you so you can get as much height as possible instead of traveling. So once again, here's a visual of the good and bad version of what I'm talking about right now, which is traveling too much because of blocking. So here, focus on my feet. This is the good version. My feet go in front of me first. Now this one isn't as common, but I think you should still know it because sometimes it happens uh, not bringing your arms up enough. So this usually happens if you're rushing the flip. So you don't focus on setting as high as possible. Possible, You get ready for the takeoff and you bring your arms to only like right here and then you go straight for the tuck. Now if you're doing that, you're probably also doing the thing I told you about not setting your chest as high as, high as possible. So they kind of go hand in hand. So now notice my arms, how high they go up. Now notice how low my arms go up on this one. Both of those problems, which is not bringing your arms up enough and not bringing your chest as high as it needs to be, I just focus on setting. Don't rush the flip. So yeah, those are the most common things that I've seen people do wrong. Those common things are, once again, not bringing your arms up enough, not bringing your chest up enough, which both of those combined is basically not sending enough and not blocking properly. Now, of course, there could be a billion other things you might be doing wrong. If you feel like you still need help, then obviously you can always message me on any of my social media, which will be in the description below, and I'll be happy to help out. Finally, for the third part of this tutorial, which is usually uh, the fear of the move and how to overcome it, if you learn the punch front flip, then you shouldn't be too scared to attempt this move. And if you still are scared, then as I always say, just drill the front flip that you're used to and or go to a gymnastics gym and work on it in there or get a mattress as I've been flopping onto and work on it onto that. Finally, I think it's over. I think this is my last tutorial on the advanced front flip. Anyway, if this helped, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment below what other tutorials you want, although I do have a bunch of other requests I do need to do. So comment below your favorite move or your favorite variation of the front flip. Also remember to ring the notification bell button because you need to watch my new parkour overnight vlog, which will be coming out Wednesday, which is in three days for you guys or two days, depending on when you watch this, whatever. I'll see you in the next one. PK person out. That is just spite for you, Catherine Major. Oh. Oh. I wanna be